Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maui. Today's video, I am doing a little mini Ulta haul. Did I say an Ulta haul? Dear God, sorry. This is a mini Morphe haul. Um, I recently went to my local Morphe store here in Tampa for the very first time and I bought some stuff, so I figured I got enough stuff that I could maybe make a small haul about it. Um, I didn't actually go super, super crazy because I do carry Morphe at my local Ulta store and of course I shopped on Morphe online, so I already own quite a bit of Morphe, so I did not go that crazy. I was actually able to contain myself for once, but I did pick up a few things, a couple repurchases, a couple things I'd never tried out before, so I figured, you know what, I can just show you guys what I got. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love hauls, if you love makeup hauls um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this also if you guys are interested in the makeup look that I'm wearing right now I actually just filmed a BoxyCharm unboxing for my September box and I created this look using the products that I received in my box so if you want to see how I got this look and what kind of products I used if you're interested in BoxyCharm I will go ahead and link that video down below so you guys can check that one out as well I have a lot of exciting things coming up. I have not told anybody this, but I am actually moving and I am going to be getting my own beauty room. So this whole background, everything's gonna be changing. Um, I'm super excited to do like moving vlogs. I'm gonna do a vlog of like the empty, we're moving to a townhouse. So I'm gonna do like an empty townhouse tour. And of course, show you guys how we decorate the whole place and my beauty room. Um, so lots of exciting things happening. I'm planning on doing also like a home decor haul and I can maybe vlog, you know, me going around shopping and buying home decor stuff. So definitely if you're interested in anything like that, please subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date on some cool things that are gonna be happening around here. So yes, lots of exciting things happening, but today I just wanted to sit down and show you guys a little bit of makeup that I bought. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing I got from Morphe, this is a repurchase of mine, and this is just their highlight and contour beauty sponge, beauty sponge, beauty sponge. Morphe beauty sponges have become my absolute favorite. I was really hooked. First it started off with Beauty Blender, the original, and then I kind of gravitated towards Real Techniques, but then ever since I tried this Morphe sponge, I'm hooked, and it's all I've been using for the past, I think, almost like a year now. Um, I love this one, and then of course I have the Jeffree Star ones that I'm using right now, but I just thought I'd go ahead and pick up a backup of the original. And speaking of Jeffree Star, next thing I got is actually from his brand, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, which I have never bought anything from. It's literally taking me the longest time to get on this bandwagon, but I finally purchased my first Jeffree Star cosmetic product, um, and this is one of his Velour Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Mannequin. I'm gonna swatch, swatch. I cannot talk today. I'm gonna swatch some of the stuff I got for you guys so you can see. But anyway, I'm sure you all know what it looks like. This is just his iconic packaging that he does for all of his Velour liquid lipsticks. So that is what it looks like right there. Super pretty, just a really neutral, almost like a little bit of a rosy color. Um, I just love nude lipsticks. I live for a nude. Um, so I just figured, why not pick one up? So, and these retail for $18. So, so excited to finally get to try those out. The next product I got is another liquid lipstick. This one's from the Morphe brand. And this is another matte lipstick, but this one is called Hot Shot. And I actually picked this up. They had this sitting, I guess Jaclyn Hill has like her own little like section at Morphe of all of like her collaboration products and then like her favorite products from the Morphe brand. And this of course was there. She wears the shade all of the time. And that is what the Hot Shot shade looks like. It's just a super, super bright, fiery, hot red. Next thing I got, this is called the Out and About Blushing Nude Lip Trio, and this is in a collaboration that they did with Lipstick Nick. And this collection includes three different products, a lip liner, a liquid lipstick, and then a lip gloss. So let me show you. They, I think they had like three different, I wanna say shades of this. They had like a nude one, I don't remember the other two, but of course, like I said, I love nude lips. So of course I got the nude lip one and it comes with this lip liner that is called Love Bite. That is what it looks like right there, the lip liner called Love Bite. It also, oh, I'm sorry, I thought it came with a liquid lip. It comes with one of their um, new matte liquid lipsticks. 
I lied again. This is a cream lip of lipstick, and this one is in the shade Flirt. If you guys watched my recent Ulta haul video that I did, I bought, I think, four of these new lipsticks that they came out with. I bought two of the creams and then two of the mattes, but anyway, that is what the shade Flirt looks like. That feels so nice. It is so creamy. I love the new cream lipstick formulas that they came out with. Um, and then it did come with this Morphe Gloss in the shade Boho. I have a couple of the matte liquid lips in this packaging, but I've never tried any of their glosses, so... Oh my god, that is pretty! Is that one right there? That is so pretty. Oh my god, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to wear that lipstick combo. And then the last actual makeup product that I got, this is their Blushing Babes Pop of Rose Blush Trio. I They had so many different like color variations of these blush trios and it took me so long to pick one out. Just looks like that. It's so beautiful. I love rosy tone shades. The only thing is the shade Hustle is a little deep personally for my skin tone. So I mean worst case scenario if these don't end up working. I don't know how pigmented they are. I've never tried any Morphe blushes so I have no idea how pigmented these are. But worst case scenario if they're too dark on my skin you can always use it as eyeshadow. So I still love those shades. I think the tones of them are absolutely beautiful. So I'm so excited to try that out. Then moving on, I got a couple of brushes, as if I don't have enough Morphe brushes already, but you know what, I just wanted to get a couple new ones. So this is the Morphe M37 brush, and this is just a little contour brush. It's not super dense, but dense enough that I think you can get a really like chiseled contour with this, so I'm so excited to try this one. Next brush I got, this is the M124, this is a firm shadow brush. I already have a couple of these firm shadow brushes from like various um, collaborations that other artists did with Morphe, but I figured I would just go ahead and pick up an original because it's just a staple brush to have. So this is what it looks like. Just your typical flat shader brush right there. And then the last item that I actually got in my Morphe haul is the M210. This is a small chisel fluff brush. And it just looks like that. Alrighty, so that is everything that I got in my little mini Morphe haul. I hope you guys like this video. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much if you stuck around at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one.